Hi everybody. Uh, today we're going to do a uh, optimization problem, and this was actually covered by another YouTube user, uh, Integralcal. Now she did it in uh, the with a single variable calculus method, and I want to show a different way, which is multivariable calculus method. And I'm going to use Lagrange multipliers and uh, impartial derivatives and all that. So. Now, if you haven't seen her video, you should uh, probably check it out. Uh, now, let's see. So, we want to make uh, an open top box or a, a rectangular box. Now, uh, the volume has to be 972 inches cubed and the length has to be two times the width. We want to uh, make, uh, we want to cut the minimum uh, surface area. So, we want to make the surface area the smallest possible given that the uh, volume has to be equal to this and the length has to be equal to this. Now let's see how we do that. Alright, so we want to minimize surface area. So now let's draw a picture. So is W for width. This is of course 2W because the length is equal to W and this is H for height. Now we want to find the surface area so we have to add up all the areas of the um, of the faces. So this is open top box. Alright. Okay so this the area of this face is W times H. The area of this face is 2WH. The area of the bottom portion, or the base of the box, is W times 2W, which is 2W squared. Alright, so now we create our function for the area. Okay, so the area of WH is equal to. Um, so we have uh, WH plus the back part is WH, so that's 2WH. Alright, now we have 2WH plus WH, they're like terms, so that's 2WH uh, plus 2WH plus WH plus WH, so that's 6WH. Okay, plus... Now the bottom portion is 2w squared. Okay, so we got all the sides. So that's great. Now we have to create our constraint function. So v uh, wh is equal to 972, which is equal to length times width times height. So uh, the width is w multiplied by the length, which is 2w, so that's 2w squared, multiplied by the height, which is h. Alright, so we made our function here. Alright, great. So now, let's see. Alright, so we have our functions, one to be optimized and one uh, to be a constraint. So now we can start uh, the calculus part. So right now we want to make uh, we want to take the gradients of both functions. So we're going to have the gradient of a w h is equal to all right. The partial derivative of a with respect to w is uh, is six h plus four w. Okay, and that's the i direction, plus uh, a with respect to h is just 6w. Mm. 
Okay. Now, we take the gradient of the Okay, B with respect to uh, W is 4W H. In the I direction. Oh, this is the J direction. I almost forgot that. Plus, uh, now with respect to H, it's just 2W squared. Okay, so we've got our gradient functions. Now, we have to um, create a system of equations. Now they have to be, of course, in the form f of xy is equal to lambda g of xy. Alright, so basically this is saying that um, the, the gradient of f is equal to a scalar multiple of the gradient of g, so basically they're parallel. Uh, these gradients. Now, this is the Lagrange multiplier or the Lagrangian, uh, you know, so it's just a, a scalar basically. So now we want to do this. Uh, okay, so 6h plus 4w is equal to lambda um, 4wh. Now, 6w is equal to lambda 2w squared. Now, our final equation will be our uh, constraint. Alright, so that's 972 is equal to 2w squared h. Alright, so we've got our constraint function. Uh, these are, this is our linear, not linear, sorry, uh, our uh, system of equations. Okay, so now we have to solve these, of course. So we want to solve for lambda first, usually. Uh, you know, that's the easiest uh, thing to solve for, but sometimes not. Sometimes you have to use matrices. But anyway, in this case we don't. So, now, uh, we're going to solve the second equation for lambda. So that's just going to give us lambda is equal to... Now, if we divide both sides by 2w squared, 6 divided by 2 is 3, so that's 3w, and uh, the w's cancel, one on the top, and then there that leaves one on the bottom. So, it's going to be 3 divided by w. Okay, so that's one. Now we're going to plug that into the first one for lambda, so we can get either h or w. So let's do that here. Hopefully, have space. Now six h plus four w is equal to lambda, which is three divided by w multiplied by four w h. Okay, so these cancel out. So that's going to be 6h plus 4w is equal to 12h. So track both sides by 6h. So 4w is equal to 6h. Now we divide both sides by 6 to get h alone. So that's going to give us h is equal to uh, 2 thirds w. Okay, so we have our second thing here. Alright, now, we're going to plug that into uh, this one here to get W. So that's going to give us 972 is equal to 2W squared H, which is 2W divided by 3. Okay, so it's going to be 972 is equal to 2w, not 4w, 2 the third, yes, 4w cubed, so you multiply that out, divided by 3. So now, 972 times 3, which is 29, 
16 is equal to 4 W cubed. Now, let's move that over here for more space. Alright, so now 29, 16 divided by 4. We divide both sides by 4. Okay, so that's... Seven two nine. Okay, so that's gonna be W cubed is equal to seven twenty nine. Let me just uh, check my calculator to make sure. Okay, twenty nine sixteen divided by four. Yep, seven twenty nine. Okay. So now let's see. Now, what's the cube root of, uh, of 729? So, 729. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, so, W, because you, you uh, take the cube root of both sides. So, now, W is equal to, if I'm not mistaken, this should be 9. Yeah, okay. So W is equal to 9. Okay, so if W is equal to 9, then in that case, uh, 2W, uh, 2 thirds times 9 is equal to, uh, 9 divided by 3 is 3, so then uh, 2 times 3 is 6. So H is actually equal to 6. Alright, so now let's test this out. Let's see what we get here. So if we uh, if we plug these are the uh, these two values should give us our minimum surface area. Now let's plug that in. Okay. So volume is equal to length times width times height. And in this case the length is 2w, so 2 times 9 is 18, multiplied by 9, the width, multiplied by 6, the height. So that gives us, let's see, 18 times 9 times 6, 972. All right, so So these indeed are uh, are the dimensions. So we're going to say that the, the dimensions of this box for minimum surface area and volume 972 inches cubed and length is equal to 2w has to be 8 by 9 by 6. All right. So that was fun, and I hope you all had fun uh, learning, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.